Aquarius, I'm about to do y'all. God is trying to tell you something meaningful or whatever day that you see it, but it is June the 2nd. Um, I'm pretty much going to pick up on the energy of a group of Aquarius and what messages your angels, guides, ancestors may have been trying to give you recently. So it's probably something you already know. Maybe you forgot it. Maybe you ignored it. Or maybe it's just meant to give you clarity, closure, understanding when it comes to something that is affecting you energetically. So... I already prepared the cards before I turned on the camera. I'm just going to shuffle and see what messages come out for Aquarius. And I'm going to pull from the Oracle deck and read the message from the book that comes out for Aquarius. You could have Aquarius in your chart or you could be an Aquarius. Why does this deck feel light? I don't know when cards are missing. Here they go. They were behind me, y'all. Like, it feels different to me when all the cards are not there. <laughs> so, let's see. I saw John Horace. So, I feel like you're definitely a leader. Whatever Aquarius this is for. You're not scared to be the first one to do something. I feel like you could be an entrepreneur or just a very uh, gifted, talented person who people look up to. Whether they want to admit it or not, with John Horace showing himself. You're showing up as the father of baskets. So you can have a water sign on your mind, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or. Hmm. Let me shut up until I pull all the cards. Real quick. Okay. So I feel like you could be trying to fight for something, fight for a person or a relationship or a connection or friendship or something. It could be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You're trying to um, control the situation or I feel like it's a better word for it protect the connection or but either way it's telling you that it's something you need to let go of with the three of swords it's telling you to let go of this energy of you putting a lot of um effort into something and it not going anywhere is lead it leads you back to the same type of pain or defensive energy with the person why is the nine of sticks here is what they should let go of? Hmm. You want you want to be the one that somebody chooses? So you could be dealing with somebody who you know is already involved or they haven't chosen you or let, made it clear that they want to be exclusive with you. They could be cheating on you with a, a, a wife or a child's mother. Or a husband or a child's father. It, it depends or on your situation. Um, but it's telling you no matter how much you fight for this situation, you're going to eventually have to, to move forward and walk away from it. The Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups. I feel like you're not getting what you want from... For a small few, it could be related to something outside of love. But you're showing up as the father of baskets. That's all about emotion. So you have a lot of deep emotions for a person that I feel like you may not express. But you're holding on to them with the hopes that they'll they'll choose you. Or it'll eventually it'll eventually pay off if you hold on to it or them. Hmm. Your strongest influence is showing up as the seven of swords. So you're lying to yourself. Or a person is lying to you or you're lying to yourself. Some people could be doing some type of spell work, rituals, um, mantras or whatever to try to get a person to leave somebody for them or to call them back in towards you or something. If this is not for you, I feel like you will know by now. It's, it's for a group of Aquarius, though. And um, 
yeah, y'all are lying. Somebody is lying to themselves and seeing a person as greater and worth more than they actually are. Or you're believing shit that you know is a lie because the person looks so good. Or you want to believe it so much with the seven of swords and the, and the big queen. Some of y'all could really be wanting a family or just wanting... That's, I feel like that's for a small group. But for the other group, it's the thing that I said it already. And I was about to repeat the same thing, but I'm not going to do that. So... Something is just not worth fighting for. Something to go from this um, five of swords, feeding into mind games and manipulation or trying to trick yourself into believing something and go to the six of swords and focus on pushing forward, and walking away from situations. This situation where you're either not wanted or you're not being satisfied or treated the way you want it. But treat it the way you really want to be treated. But you think or you're hoping that things are going to change. Could be with the fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. but we Or Leo, since that wanted to drop and show Leo. Um, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also Taurus and Libra here. What is there to clarify? There's nothing to clarify but I'm going to pull from the oracle and see what else comes out what the fuck what did I say y'all what did we say we said lying to yourself it says hiding your true self that's what just flipped over we all just saw it flip over hiding your true self so at the bottom is sacrifice hmm. 14 is here that's number five that's about conflict that leads to change so Well, it's about conflict and change, but that's the way I decided to put it together. <laughs> uh, conflict that leads to change. Okay, Aquarius, it paused, so I'm going to start over where they were describing the picture on this card. It says, in the dazzling light, there is a hint of a door, like the door to the hammond. Okay. Outside, draped in the scarlet tunic, stands two women. One under the sun of the... One under the sign of the sun. And the other beneath the sign of the moon. So pretty much it's saying you can choose to be under the sun or under the moon. Like you can choose to have the clarity that comes with the sun, the growth, understanding, step into the light of the sun, or you could stay in the darkness of the moon. It only illuminates 10% of what the sun does. So do you want to know just 10% and lie to yourself or just be in the darkness because I guess ignorance is bliss I'm really not trying to drag y'all right now but I'm just really saying what comes to mind so please well I really don't care I appreciate all feedback likes dislikes um the comments are off because it's a lot of energy to take on as a real impact um but if you email me I will email back but it's pretty much saying or stay in the darkness of the moon is your choice It says you could be in front of the mirror or you could hide behind the mirror. Or you could choose to be the mirror. Okay. Hiding is a survival instinct. Do you want to be honest and truly yourself? Very few people will, will accept you then. You are too complicated. Oh my gosh. Speech? Come on. It says you are too complicated to be comfortable. Too contradictory to be easy. Too exceptional to be believed too plain to be considered you can be the sun you can be the moon you can be the door you can be the road you can be the butterfly and the brick 
maybe the question is not if but when sometimes real solitude is when there is not a right moment to be yourself and not the right person okay and neither the right way being yourself is like a moment at the spa it is a massage for your soul a purification process that brings in oxygen and turns away age and wear it is bliss and pleasure okay so mm, i guess that's it for no i'm gonna read sacrifice this is just sitting there like it want to be read number seven for aquarius even if i have to break it apart as long as it serves a purpose okay so here it says a beautiful female knight wears heavy armor she holds a blade in front of her and a blade of light slices across her face showing the deadly seriousness of her stare the mirror of her resolve i have accepted my duty and in my release i found freedom okay there is a strong power in sacrifice our fears our hopes they are all chains to a small world our sense of self is a small petty creature of uncertain resolve and shaky horizons with sacrifice our renounce of our sense of self no with sacrifice we renounce our sense of self we accept to be lost we accept to be shaken and cut and bruised and hurt and burdened and locked and stricken and despised and gossiped and betrayed and to be misunderstood and to be left alone to rot to die with just words of thanks while the world goes on over our broken dreams but when we drown our senses of cells to sacrifice we are also a greater person we are screaming i exist i make the difference we accepted a price to pay hmm. and we use our blood and tears as currency okay that gives us the right to stand tall i don't know if you're sacrificing yourself for a person or a dream or what um but i trust that it will reach whatever group of aquarius it, it's for um hopefully you got something from it if you saw any of the cards and you heard something felt something that i did not say go with your own intuition before mine but thanks for watching peace